searching for the good in our neighborhoods and each other. Not just finding what's wrong, but what's right. A true reflection of Cincinnati. Find the good in your mornings. Good morning, Tri-State. This is WCPO 9 News. We want to thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Tomorrow, the state of Kentucky will start the first phase of its reopening, and that includes hospitals and non-urgent health care services. Doctors and health care workers can start to resume things like physical therapy, diagnostic radiology, and lab services, but elective surgeries will not resume until a later date. Governor Andy Bashir says the goal is to do it right, not do it the fastest. Indiana also starts to reopen on Monday, lifting restrictions on routine medical procedures. But the stay at home order in that state is still in effect until Friday, May 1st. Tonight, Indiana reports more than 15,000 positive coronavirus cases. And Ohio will start its own phase one of reopening this coming Friday as well. Governor Mike DeWine will lay out what that means and what it looks like. Monday afternoon. Ohio has, though, launched a new system to help with a backlog of unemployment claims. Starting today, if your last name starts with A through H, you are asked to file claims on Sundays. On Mondays, it's I through P. On Tuesdays, it's last names Q through Z. Ohio Job and Family Services says anyone can file a claim Wednesday through Saturday, but you should expect long delays. You can find more information about all of this on our website, WCPO.com. Let's head over to Sherry with the weather. Well, Evan, the, the rain is moving out and the clouds will move along with it. And because of that, we're going to see clear skies in the overnight hours, and that will set up some patchy frost in some of our northern communities. But by tomorrow, we're at 65 degrees and we'll have lighter winds, very mild air. We even get to 70 on your Tuesday, but there's going to be a chance of a few early showers on Tuesday morning, then another chance of late showers Tuesday night into Wednesday. That's the likely day of rain. Beyond that, we'll see some improvement as we get into May. We're in the 70s.